Chip and Enki, I can't wait for you to see all the beautiful constellations through the observatory telescope. Me too, Luna. Oh, wait. What are constellations? Constellations are bunches of stars in the sky that look like shapes. Come see. That one's called Pisces because it's shaped like two fish. And that's Taurus. It's shaped like a bull. Whoa! I never thought that all those tiny stars made shapes. Stars are actually really, really, really big. They only look tiny because they're so far away. Cool clams! Uh, no one knows the sky like you, Luna. Aw, uh, thanks, Inky. And if your telescope at home is this cool, the giant one at the observatory must be even cooler. Well, maybe not cooler, but it's definitely bigger. We're here. Last one in the observatory is a soggy log. Yeah! <laughs> Hey there, Herman. Hi. Hello, Mr. Crumple. Well, hello, Rangers. You've picked a perfect night for stargazing. Nice. Oh, clams. May I take a peek, Herman? The beautiful. <gasps> a falling star. And it's coming this way. <laughs> Great prickly pears. You're right, Luna. You really know your stars. Oh, it must have fallen to the ground right here in Eagle Creek. <sighs> Wouldn't it be something if we could find it? Hey, let's help Mr. Crumple get his wish. Great idea. With Luna's help, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. Really? What? And and the Adventure Rangers, Rangers go! falling star. So, what we call shooting stars are actually meteorites. They're rocks from space that land on Earth. Bumping beaver tails! There are rocks from space? I'd sure like to add one to my collection. <gasps> I see something glowing over there. I bet it's the meteorite. Follow me, everybody. Well, actually, usually they... Uh... <laughs> well, they sure are excited. <sighs> Can I get a little help, Binky? Maybe an octo slingshot? One eager beaver delivery coming up! Forgot to plan a landing. Let's see what I've got here. Nope, not that either. <gasps> yes! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Howdy do, Maureen. Lovely night for a campfire. Shh! The mini moosers have gone to bed. Now. What's all the excitement about? Uh, we saw your glowing campfire and thought it was the meteorite we were looking for. How mooseless. But I'm afraid there are no meteorites here. <laughs> uh, that's what I was trying to tell you, Rangers, before you ran off. Meteorites don't glow once they hit the ground. <laughs> mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you for dropping by, Rangers. But it's time for my beauty sleep. See you later. Bye. Bye. Are there any constellations shaped like dinosaurs? Not sure about that one, Inky. Could I catch a meteorite with my baseball mitt? <laughs> Definitely not. What are your meteorites made of? It could be a bunch of things. Uh, oh. Some are made of rock. Some are metal. Some even sparkle. Oh, look! A glittery rock! 
I bet that's it. <gasps> I found it. Mm, sorry, Luna. I have one just like it in my collection. Aww. That's just a plain old earth rock. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's okay. We're all learning. Of course it's an earth rock. I knew that. I just wasn't close enough to see it. Ooh, it's not a meteorite, but it's still out of this world, Luna. That it is, Inky. Let's all keep looking. Maybe we'll find some other fun surprises. <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. I'll find that meteorite. That's the spirit. Lead on, Luna. I saw it fall in this direction. It must be over there. This way. Wait for me. Rock, Luna. But this one isn't a meteorite either. I have a few of these back at my beaver lodge. <laughs> of course, you can never have too many rocks. Uh, we should have seen the meteorite by now. Can I help at all, Luna? No. Uh, I mean, no thank you, Mr. Crumple. I can find it. Wait! You said that meteorites have metal in them, right, Mr. C? Uh, well, actually, it was Luna who told us that. But you're right, Chip. Mm, nope. Not that. Not that either. <laughs> Ta-da! One metal detector. Now all we have to do is head in the direction it tells us to. What have you found, Chipster? <gasps> Oh, yeah. Yippers! Good job, Rangers! You're pro meteorite finders now! Oh, thanks, Mr. Crumple. But Chip's the one who found it. He thought of using the metal detector and knows all about rocks. I know lots of facts about the stars in the sky, how they form the constellations that we see up high. I'm an on birds and the songs that we sing but I still don't know about everything ask me anything about stones and rocks I've got a big collection that I keep in a box if it's about fish in the sea then you can always ask me but we Crumple knows so much about stars. I had fun learning from both of you. You know, I love chatting with Herman about stars and meteorites, but he's not really much of a talker. Uh, well, it's uh, getting pretty late. I think it's time for all of us to head home. Uh, uh, but which way? Um, the trees all look kind of familiar. There's a lot of footprints going in a lot of directions. Uh-oh, we're lost. Hmm. I may not know as much about rocks as Chip, but I will sure know the sky. If we follow the Big Dipper, we should be headed north. That will take us back to the observatory. Right, Mr. C? <laughs> Sounds about right to me, Luna. How'd you think of that? <laughs> the Big Dipper is shaped like a spoon. It always makes me think of the cafe and Seymour's squash soup. A group of stars that looks like a spoon? Are there any that look like beavers or, or octopi? Hmm, I'm not sure. Actually, do you know, Mr. Crumple? I don't know either, Luna. 
But maybe next week, uh, we can all meet at the observatory and look for some. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Adventure Rangers stand proud and tall. And once our teams helped one and all, we put a picture on the wall. There. We put the meteorite on display the same way we found it. Together! <laughs> I was so focused on knowing everything about the stars that I didn't stop to ask you about Earth Rocks, Chip. That's okay, Luna. We all learned a lot today. And you know what that makes us? 